Hey, it's Peter again with LightHarp Industries. I just wanted to show you guys a totally new LightHarp system. Basically what this is, is this is a pinhole effect passive LightHarp. Uh, I like to call passive LightHarp systems shadow harps because basically they aren't emitting any light, they're just looking for shadow. Now if you see, if you look closely, there's a little tiny pinhole on there that only allows a little bit of light to come in but it uses that as a lens and it allows uh, well I'll just show you how it works basically if you imagine like a fan of beams coming up out of this thing uh, they aren't actually beams they are just like cones of a of, uh, field of vision so if I put my hand up here Uh, I can trigger different notes by intersecting those fields of vision uh, as um, dictated by the geometry of the pinhole relative to these little cadmium sulfide photoresistors inside. So if you look at it, uh, basically if the pinhole's here, uh, this sensor on the right can only see through the pinhole up at this angle so it can only see what's going on over here and conversely the one on the left can only see through the pinhole and it can only see what's going on over here so the fields of vision kind of cross at the pinhole and go up into the into the air uh, so this is a totally passive light harp system uh, no, no LED note indicators or anything which I think is and just bumping it there caused it to freak out. Um, no LED note indicators or anything like that, so kind of uh, a step back, you might say. Uh, but in, in other ways, it's a step forward. Because this system could be built really, really tiny. I'm talking like keychain sized. But yet, it allows you to interact with it in a very large space in the air. So, I mean, think, think about a device that's this big that you can pull out of your pocket, put on the table, and you're, and you're playing it, uh, you know, with very large hand movements in, in the air. I think it's got potential. Um, there's, there's no real volume proportionality or dynamic of your performance. It's pretty much just note on or, or note off, uh, but I think it's pretty cool. So, uh, as usual, we're powering it via the USB cable here, and we're going through the MIDI to USB into the Apple MacBook running, uh, in this case, Logic, which is kind of like a souped up version of GarageBand. Uh, so yeah, more about this soon. I'm going to be hacking on this, and uh, as always, we're using the Arduino Nano microcontroller. Uh, that little bit of tape and stuff on there is actually just to keep those lights that are, there's little LEDs on the Nano itself and uh, I didn't want stray light flying around inside of this casing. It's really important that everything inside the casing be very dark. So, uh, yeah, more soon.